Good morning, Stampers. This is Friday Fun Day with Becky Part 2 on a Saturday morning. Um, I had technical difficulties, which is not uncommon for me. I'm not real tech savvy. Um, and so I found out what the issue was and where my video stopped once I could finally watch it. And so this is part two, which is really the alternatives that I promised and I need to finish doing this card. So, um, oh, and I forgot to stamp something off to work with. So we will uh, finish up this card. I did show on part one from yesterday how to do this wave. And I'm gonna finish up by showing you how to assemble the rest of it um, so that you can put it together and utilize this wave. Um, to do that, let's see. So Becky's gonna to need to do a little shifting here. Not a problem. And I have a dog that's into things. So what I will do is you'll be able to see and compare the shaded wave versus the non-shaded wave. Okay, so that'll be kind of good. All right, so let's get going because I finished some of the cards I quote did yesterday um, I, that ended up off camera. And so we're going to go back to the Stamparatus. I still have it set up from yesterday with the wave. Um, let's see, I'm going to need to trim this down. If you recall, this was five by three and three quarters. Best laid plans, you know. Three and three quarters by five. So I needed to trim it down just a little bit. And so we're going to place it right here. I'm going to pull it down a bit because it looks like, and you do need to kind of look each time you cut a piece to make sure that it's going to work. Remember, this particular method is great to do for multiples, whether you're doing thank yous or a Christmas card or invitations. I love using my chamois to, my lovely chamois, this is actually a newer one, to wipe the ink off my rubber stamp. Um, I think for this one, I am just going to stamp it as the first step. Remember, you want something underneath your, your plate. We're going to ink this up. And the reason we do this with the Stamparatus is this is a very detailed stamp. And we rub it well. And this one turned out great. So we're done. I'm just going to leave it Coastal Cabana. Remember those strong, whoop, see the difference? But we're going to continue from there. Okay, we were going to come back to this for another card. So I decided when I got it all done, and this is where you guys lost me, that the white background was just a little too much. So I wanted to tint it a little bit. And to do that, I took, not balmy blue, all these tones have um, a little jade to them, I guess you'd call it. And so I took a blending brush, and this is my teal, so to speak, and I added color. You can see where I did it earlier but it's up in space, a happy thought. So you can start, if you feel like you've got big globs on it, you can start off and pull it in. And if you don't want your foam really foamy and white, you can take a little color off of that. Okay, so this is your background. See the difference between this and leaving it white. I think that just adds a nice little light color. I used this instead of the daubers. I used to shade the other one because it, it's a softer, you don't end up with little blobby um, things on it and that kind of thing. Okay, so this then I would go ahead and mount on um, my other pieces. Uh, this is my original. 
And so then we do have some clouds. Um, the clouds are two solid. I know it cuts more. Are two solid and two detail. And some people like to also use the detail for waves, which is fine. Um, you can use your multi-purpose glue to put these together. But my glue of choice for something like this, because it doesn't leave stuff behind, is my Dotto. Used to be called Hermifix. We used to carry it. And you can still get it. I still use it a lot. Um, I We got it or used it initially for scrapbooking. And so then here's the little piece. I wanted to show you how to put those together. And if you have a really good um, sandwich in your embossing machine, it will emboss some little detail in that as well. Okay? So, and part of the reason I decided to tint this is because it really, you can't see the clouds on white. And I really like these cute little clouds. We have a lot of little clouds other places. So then you need to decide whether you're going to leave them flat, as I did. I want this big cloud over the wave. Hmm, better put in my... Um, pelican first which i stamped already in night of navy which is one of my colors and i'm gonna i am gonna pop him up so let's oh, that took too many backings so these must be older don't know why i use a lot of them and another one and then I'm oops did it again pulled up the back and then I'll take one of my little minis yep it's not good and I'm going to put this so I know where I want along the bottom of the white piece anyway so I know where I want to add my other cloud And I think I'll put it kind of right there. Okay. And then there's this cute little seagull that I stamped in the sky. He is so itsy bitsy teeny weeny that I was, we, I did this card in Stamp Club on sat, last Saturday. And it was really picking up a, an edge. So I got my old craft and rubber scissors, which some of them did not remember ever having, and trimmed it. You want to make sure if you ever trim your rubber, you don't undercut it. You need it to be su supported. So I'll put, I only put three on this card. I'll put five on this one. Um, and then I used the rhinestones since I've already done one of these. The rhinestones that come with this set are just absolutely gorgeous. Um, they have a lot of shine and shimmer and dimension to them. Um, we have navy, Pacific Point, balmy blue, I would guess. Um, pool party, uh, granny apple green, because there is some granny apple green, and coastal cabana. And I ended up putting seven on mine. I like to put one little cluster. Um, usually the medium or small. There are only four large and four medium, and then the rest are all the small. It just adds a nice little glimmer. Remember, these will be gone. They're while supplies last. They will not be in the next catalog. So this is what it's done. But it's still, if you take a quick look, it's still missing something. Um, you could glop on some um, embossing paste. But I am going to use, give it a shake to mix it up. There, it's coming down my barrel here. This is a fairly new one. I decided to, with a nice little brush, brush some on the detail of the clouds. Just like this. And then you can put it on the wave wherever and how much ever you want. Cover the whole thing. Oop. Let it glob like that move it around that frequently happens don't be afraid when you have a fairly new one just move it around it's a little more silver there but that's okay 
Okay, and then that would go on my, my um, card front, okay? I generally do not put messages on the front because it, it does um, have a tendency to, to muddy the image if you've got a lot going on. So this was the shaded one that I initially got on online to show you how to shade the wave, but I have other options. Okay, first of all, I love our foil. I have been using a lot of the Coastal Cabana and the Navy. I cut it into two and three quarters or two or five eighths inch strips, and I cut out the wave from there. But before I cut it out, I also cut out a piece of adhesive strip, also two and five eighths inch wide. Um, you can see, I'll show you a couple here that I've got done. Here's a piece of waves, waves everywhere. I love them. So I cut out a bunch. Here's a, here's one. So I cut out some waves. There's a neat little seagull. So I cut out some seagulls. So I have those ready to go. They're in my um, container here with adhesive on the back. Now, the ones that come from Stampin' Up! are white. They don't have Sizzix. I, we used to get them from Sizzix, and I've had this for a while. I hadn't used it for a while. So that's where we're going with this, okay? So let's try a few other things. First of all, I'm gonna come back to my Stamparatus. And one of the things I tried was stamping directly on a piece of designer paper. So I grabbed this piece of designer paper, which I can see right now is a little longer than where I've got my die, and that's okay. I'll show you again how do we figure out where that's going. Let me wipe it off with my chamois, at least the best I can. All right, I'm going to lift this up and my pencil's still here. I need it to come down to here. So rather than ruin my piece of paper, I'm going to line it up down here. Review is a new view, good view. All right, I am thinking I'm going to do the Coastal Cabana again. I can use, just use the case from my chamois. And I'm going to ink this up. This is a test run. Yep, see how it lines up pretty good? So now I can use my actual designer paper and I'm going to put it on my mark or line it up to where my stamp is showing there. Remember, these are my original magnets. Okay, so let's try stamping a wave directly on. Now I tried to find a place that I thought would work. I'll show you the one I did and showed yesterday that I then completed. Okay, actually that's not too bad. The one I did yesterday um, I did not like the color. The color was not showing. I'm going to do it just a little darker, maybe, without wasting a lot of time. Okay. Ah, yeah, I like that better. Okay. So, I've stamped directly on the paper, designer paper. This is the waves of um, the ocean paper. I'm going to go ahead and clean this. Um... Although I don't think I'm going to use this again. I've changed my mind. Okay. All right. So what's nice is I can remove this plate. I am going to use my Stamparatus again, however. So I'll set this over here. So there's my stamped directly onto a piece of cardstock. Okay. So I have since I picked it all up. I lost my 
here it is. Okay, so here's the one I did and showed yesterday. Um, I had the way this paper is, it looks like foam. And I stamped it first in the Pacific Point, couldn't see it, came back and did it again in the um, Knight of Navy. And then I added a Knight of Navy um, foil wave. This is one of the tags that's included in the stamp set. Um, I really do like them, the two tags. That's the wide one. Um, I had these um, just loose yesterday, but I've since completed cards so I could show you. I used a piece, uh, a scrap of my navy foil, and then I used the Pacific Point, I think, rhinestones to finish that off and put it on Calypso or um, Coastal Cabana. So this one, I'm not sure I'm going to finish, but I did want to take this and show you what happens. Now, this tour, actually, I always cut both waves at the same time from a piece of foil. And so um, I got them too close together, which is no big deal. Okay. And so it is on a piece of this adhesive sheet. And you just get it started. Carefully remove the back. Now this is the one that fits in the corner, but has a bit of a curve to it, but not the square, which I'm using on another card. So you put that down. I'll fix this end here, which should match up to the stamp. And there you have the diff look how different it is. And these go together so quickly. So I'll probably put it together very similarly. Um, not sure what color cardstock, but anyway, that's another thing you can do is stamp on your designer paper, add some foil. Um, if you wanted to, that's my puppy. She's got a heart murmur. And she's decided to hang down with, here with me today. Aren't you missy? She's actually my daughter's dog, a little beagle, 14 years old, still lovable. Aren't you miss? Okay, notice how easily these do poke out. I haven't used a dryer sheet. I only ran it through once, but you could, and I've got another one to show you, you could put both of them on here. This one has a little bit more of a drip to it. Um, I find it kind of loses something with both of them, plus it makes it heavy, but I'm going to use this piece on another one. So, there's another alternative to the waves. Okay. Here's one where I didn't stamp at all. The only thing I have on here is the two layers of foil wave on a piece of uh, designer paper that I thought would work. This is one of the larger, the larger um, die um, with a piece of Coastal Cabana ribbon that it's, it's wide where I could cut the uh, foil to be the right width. I just looped it through. So, you, you know, you can do whatever. I did cut out and I have several um, seagulls in here besides being able to stamp them. They were sticky, so all I had to do is decide, and I went with a white one. I will talk a little bit about the white and one of the navy ones. Okay, and you could add rhinestones or some um, Winka Stella. There's just a lot of things that you could do with it. Okay, so I wanted to go to the actual flyer and show you how to do, since we don't have these in our idea book yet. I wanted to share with you how to do a couple of these techniques because um, I wondered myself. So let's take a look at this one first. I think this is clever. It took the two waves and turned them a little bit and so I wanted to show you how I thought they needed to go together. So I took a longer piece. Why? I have cut pieces and I wanted a piece of Pacific Point, and this one was cut this way. Um, you can run it this way, or you could run it this way. For my purposes, I decided to go this way. The embossing folder I use, since we, we do have the seashells, um, is from this new collection 
of stripes and splatters. It is narrower, but what I did is I ran it through right to the edge, and then actually if you move it right over, it lines right up. So I thought that kind of looked like bubbles. This wouldn't be too bad either. It reminds me of the planks of um, a, a the boardwalk or something. So let's put this together. Wrong adhesive. Cardstock to cardstock needs something a little more durable. And down the middle. This does have just a sixteenth of an inch because in order to get the um, waves on here, it they just fit. And I see as I flipped them over to look at them that I do not have any adhesive on it. So you'll get to see how you put them on when you don't have adhesive. You can take your multi-purpose glue, or what my crew knows as my green glue, and a dauber, or you can just jet, you know, lightly put some dots on it. This would give you an opportunity to slide it around a bit if you need to. Okay. All right. That needs a little more. That has nothing on it. What I like about the Dotto, this temporary adhesive, is you can then rub it off if you get stuff where you don't want it. I did, I couldn't decide, so one of the things if you give this one a try that you might want to decide or determine is whether both dies should have been from the same die. One is a little thinner, they're shaped a little differently. It's not like you have a detail and a whatever. Okay, so I'm going to go with a little bit of an edge. And it does overlap. But you know what? If you take a look, not neat. And you could go this way with it too. And with my card, see, I can go either way. But it, they do use one of the um, messages from the stamp set. Uh, let's see. Your strength is an inspiration. And so if you put that over here and add some rhinestones, that's how you do that card. Okay? This is the first time I cut out the designer paper. Okay? So just kind of wanted to show you that that's an option as well. Okay, the final thing I wanted to show you is this one here, is how do you get the yellow and peach sky and the blue wave? I did not go ahead and cut more clouds or whatever. I'm just showing you the basics of how this gets put together. So, what I did, is I cut a strip of what I think is the color they used. I don't know. It looks a little more turquoise or pool party, but we don't really have pool party. All right, and I wanted, I liked these little bubble things. So I actually took my piece of foil and kind of moved it around until I saw what I liked. And I really did kind of like this area here. So I'm gonna, I do have backing on this. So I'm gonna peel the backing from this, she said. Um, you can use your pokey tool or from your pick your pickup tool, pick me tool. Okay, I don't, it's so hard to tell what's white and what's white. Okay. So now what are we gonna do? You're gonna cut. And I forgot my snips again. I didn't have them yesterday either. So I put it in the corner so I don't have to cut all four sides. So you're going to just trim away. I know they should have given us a solid die, but they didn't. So we still need to um, exercise and make sure it's stuck down really, really well. That's why I like the adhesive for this particular technique. And it's coming up there. Now, here with this part of the wave, 
I am not going to worry. I have the other wave done in a card I'm going to finish for you. And voila. Okay. So I even have a little bit of the um, granny apple green in there. Okay. So there's our wave. Back to our image here. This particular piece is just all yellow and um, Calypso coral and petal pink. Okay. Now, my question, I'm going to put this down. I think I'm going to try this on dimensionals as well, if they'll peel for me. Because everything else, when I've used the wave, has been flat. So let's try popping this little bugger up a little bit. If it gets too narrow here, you can use your smaller ones, like right there at the end. The more dots you place on it, the less it, as I put it, sags. Okay. Oh, took the top off one of the nearby ones. Okay. Enjoy my nails. They're about to go. These were my for St. Patrick's Day. Um, they're kind of cl um, Coastal Cabana anyway, or Mint Macaron, two of my favorite colors. We are starting to see our new in colors that will be released here soon. Unfortunately, one of my favorites, just Jade, is leaving. Yeah, I like that dimension. You can see a little bit of shadow under it. Okay. Now that that's there, what I did couldn't decide, this is Calypso Coral. Once again, I wish I was live. Oh, there's the yellow. If you want it to look more like the sunset, and I haven't used this color. I don't think that's Petal Pink. I think that's Blushing Bride, which still works. Don't really care for the pink. And then this is Mint Macaron, which really isn't in there. But I think I kind of like it. So let's go rogue. And yes, it would have been easier to put this on before the wave with all the dimensions on it, but I'm planning. You're watching my, I'm creating on the fly, something I don't do very well. Okay. And basically, now they put theirs on Probably Night of Navy, could be um, Pacific Point, but if you add some clouds and some seagulls, you've got their card, and that's how it's done. Now, um, they may have raised it a bit. Look how much thicker theirs is right here. Oh, I see. They didn't follow the wave like I did. They cut it around it. So, different strokes for different folks there. Okay, and I want to show you one last thing. Here is the one that I did yesterday. Um, I cut it out of white glossy. Um, I like the shine of um, the foils. Um, the DSP was nice, but I thought I might want the white glossy. And so I, this is the one I did. This is the other wave, so it cuts a little differently. And so I had not finished this, and so we I talked to nobody um, about possibly stamping this with our new background stamp. So let me see. And it's called Gentle Waves. And I have it mounted. The All of our big background stamp, stamps are now on rubber and they're clear. And as you can see, I had some issues with the label. Not sure if I would, would do that again. Um, I've got it on here wrong, for me at least. Let's see. This is what's so nice about this. Maybe I'll go this way. Right, right. I don't know. Okay, but what I need first is I need to see where this is. Okay. This is what happens. This is that on the fly thing. I think that's where. Yep. My paper needs to go. 
and I decided I was going to ink it up these gentle waves this is in the mini catalog and again I'm oops I need something under it let's use the stamp case for those of you who might want to use your stamparettis on this side see and I can see since this is a dark ink what's catching and what's not let's see how it's going I haven't used this yet, so let's see. Hmm, got a few little div divots there, but it gives me an idea. And it does not look straight. That's okay. Hmm, which way do we want the ocean? I don't have the label on the right way. <laughs> Okay. Live and learn. Yeah, see, I would put the way darker waves here on the bottom and the lighter ones up out to sea out this way. And I've got it on my see, that's why you test first. Okay, so let's see. Right. What we'll do is we'll close it. You know what this is a layer so I can flip it around da, 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 da. okay so this is stamped pretty well you can see where it didn't make contact This is where a bigger piece cut down. See, you're li you're learning with me. It could also be my table surface. I'm on a fiberglass table that does not have a lot of contact. Let's go like this since I don't have totally unedited girls. It's getting there. <laughs> 